Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are working on the iPhone 6 Plus. The reason why I decided to, do, to model the Plus, not the original, is that I like this one more. And also, if you learn here how to model the Plus, you will know how to model the smaller iPhone 6. So here you can see the model, it has all those details, I'm not sure about this, this text here. These colors are definitely not original. I already recorded the tutorial and shown it all. So this is the model I did in the tutorial. <coughs> So what I wanted to say that this model is only for showing in the rendering itself. It has no internal parts, it won't talk to you also, but it's fairly nice to see. And I wasn't getting any blueprints as iPhone 6 released uh, around 5 days ago. So I was only watching the images, so this is what we get. It looks pretty decent, it has all those <coughs> necessary outside look details. But on further those things or headphones. So, let's let go. something like a profile for the cut sweep so we are done just make sure that this is not shorter than 5 I'm gonna put 7.5 just make sure that this line goes above this edge ok exit sketch and go to sweep cuts and the part is going to be selection manager uh, select this option select group so select one edge and you got this tangent you're gonna select all tangent edges and we got it the reason why I didn't do a fillet is that I want this one face to be here if I do a fillet it's gonna create two faces so let's save the model I'm gonna call it iPhone 6 Plus, say okay. Next thing, right plane. So let's draw one uh, large line. Make sure it's vertical and it should go below and above the model. And it's a uh, zero point five from this edge. Exit the sketch and front view. Let's do a split line. 
select all faces like this and we got it splitted so this is something like screen so it's, it's already done and sketch on this face I mean, sketch now let's proceed with a uh, button it's a uh, 10.9 diameter and it's a uh, vertical with the origin which means symmetrical and from this edge it goes 8.5 okay exit sketch extracted cut 0 to 25 and draft angle 70 degrees so you got the shape of the bottom done next thing is going to be speaker so let's use this polygon I'm gonna use this one and the midpoint is vertical with this one of course uh, this dimension is 9.5 radius 0 0.5 and it goes 69.25 from the origin I think that's gonna be fine it looks small let's try 0 0.75 Okay, exit sketch and do extracted cuts by 0 0.5. Hope it's not too big. No, it's not. And fill it by 0 0.5 or 0 to 25. That's that's much better next thing is the front camera zoom in here and do a cycle that is diameter 2 and draw a center line from the midpoint of the cycle to midpoint of this arc and make it horizontal and it's um, horizontally 10.5 from the origin now we are doing the cutting 0 0.5 0 by 45 drafts and let's do sketch here convert and extracted cuts by 0, 0 0.25 and we got the camera done let's just start select this edge and do a field surface fix a boundary and make sure it's a contact and that's gonna be a glass in the rendering it's important to kill a glass over the camera the reason why I didn't do a holes here is because that's gonna, that should make that would make the model too complicated for this tutorial so I'm doing it always in a rendering which is quite better option let's proceed to a screen it's a 5.5 inch screen sorry I'm gonna do a rectangle by, by midpoint from the origin so uh, select this diagonal and do a 5.5 and type in IN which is inch and this how this much is in millimeters so this should be 68.5 screen oh it looks too big <laughs> let's try just 68 67.5 no, let's just get it back to 68.5 in my rendering it looks awesome so I do the sketch I do the sketch and use the split line tool for this face and this face this one and this one I think I know what's wrong with this 
so let's go to to the cut sweep it may not be fine I'm not sure it's a radius 5 and I think that's too big so let's make it no it's a cut sweep and let's this change this catch edit this catch I'm sorry should it be smaller or not Well, it can't be, cannot be smaller than this. Okay, I hope this is fine. So, what's next? Next thing is, yeah, okay. Surface offset. So, go to surfaces and find the offset surface tool. Select this surface, and we are offsetting it zero five in opposite direction like this so now let's draw a sketch on the right plane and I'm gonna use this view so it's here in this one let's draw one polygon I'm gonna draw this one and one rectangle, rectangle by midpoint so this line of rectangle and this one of the polygon they are collinear and now let's see dimensions okay we have to do one center line and it goes from this point of the uh, cycle point you can see and it's, uh, it goes till here and Till here, so this one is vertical, and this one is also vertical. Whew. So I don't think this is right. I'm sorry. It doesn't have to go through rectangle only. Come on. I'm gonna convert this one and make it for construction. So from this point till here should be vertical make sure that these two are collinear ok now 22.5 that's quite big and <laughs> this should be 6.5 now this one is 2 okay this is how it should look like and from this point to midpoint of rectangle it goes 11 also we got uh, from this point to here oh center let's draw one center line here and now from this point to this point it goes 33 we need fillets for the uh, it's a uh, 0 8 for this rectangle and I think finger sketch is done no it's not sorry it's a uh, radius here should be 1.325 so that's much better exit the sketch and this should be a cutting so it goes like this extracted cut offset by much more than 60 in this direction left from the right plane and it goes up to surface in this direction so go here and hide this body and here select the surface but if we try to select ok it's not gonna work because we also have to unhide I mean show this body 
and then it's, it should work and it worked of course save the progress and let's do a fill at 0 1 okay and right plane sketch again in this view where we got from the left side view we got this so let's draw a polygon by two points and this point or this arc and this arc should be okay no this point and this arc should be fuck concentric concentric relation we need and here the same and so this point and this edge they are concentric so it goes 0 0.1 from this edge and I think that's it for this button here we also need two polygons okay I'm gonna draw them here I got problems there I'm gonna draw one so this edge and this point are also concentric it goes 0 0.1 between this edge and this sketch and it should be 8.5 8.5 and do a center line on midpoint of this edge and do a mirror around this center line I think that's that's it so we again need one surface offset select the surface offset one and do a offset surface by one in this direction to the left side so let's do a set of sketch we draw and do extruded bus by up to surface to this surface and hide the surface and we got the buttons uh, we can also hide this one and what's left for the buttons is fillet 01 I'm gonna use 2014 help for the filleting I can press this one and I'm done uh, okay what's next the right surface body of set so now we are working on the right side uh, buttons so surface offset by 0 5 to the inside okay right plane sketch and now we are in this view we are not changing it we have to draw one polygon again can be uh, this one just make sure while you are drawing it that it's always vertical you will notice if it's not so it's a uh, 9.5 uh, 1.325 and it goes from the origin 38 till the midpoint so 38 and let's draw one let's color this edge better okay make it for construction and this center line and this point they should be coincident which also means vertical in vertical relation so I think that's it for this button here and we are doing the same cutting so extract cuts offset now when we are setting just make it something like this and go to go up to surface and open this hide the body okay not blind up to surface it's this surface of course and unhide the body so it's gonna work okay 
Now we can hide this surface offset and let's proceed with a split line on the right plane sketch. So it's a again polygon, not this big but smaller. It's a 15 here and this point should be horizontal, sorry, horizontal with the origin and also it's a uh, uh, hmm. forgot to see which diameter it should be it should be around 1.325 ok and it's of course convert this edge for example make it for construction and this point and this line are coincident again and let's do a I think that's it we just need one 7.5 let let me just check something yeah it should be 7.5 and offset by 0 1 to the outside okay split line select this face and it's almost done Uh, right plane sketch again. So select this edge, converts, convert. Okay, what the hell? It's a curve, but it should be, shouldn't be a curve. Okay, I know why it's a curve because it's on cylindrical surface. Never mind. Let's just draw on cycle. It's a uh, diameter 1 and convert this no convert convert this edge of course make it for construction and this point and this one they are vertical this one and this one they are horizontal So let's cut it, extract cut, uh, offset, something like this, up to surface, and let's show surface offset free, and hide the body. So it goes up to surface as I said. Fuck. And again, show the body. I'm a little bit tired right now. <laughs> okay, looks like I forgot to do a button here. Or I didn't. <laughs> so transfer by zero one angle is 45 here so again a right plane sketch no sorry uh, select the surface of set 3 and do a offset surface by 1 to the right side like this outside of the model right plane sketch and let's hide this for a second I'm gonna select this face and do offset by 0, 1 to the inside and the sketch is finished so extrude up to surface show the less okay we have to go surface bodies and show it here so up to surface deal here and hide it, hide surface of set 3 if it's not, and it's not and do a fillet by 0, 1 of course and this button is on Whew. 
Now we have some sensor on the, or I don't know what the hell it is, I believe it's some sensor here. Of course it's a psycho diameter 1.5 and it's a, a vertical with the origin. It goes from the origin like 74 so it should be a cutting cut 0 25 oh this is what was bothering me all the time <laughs> My boss extra one is 10 and it should be 7.1. So I hope the rebuild is gonna do the work well as it does. Almost. I got only this one failed because of the sketch. Okay, the sketch is has lost the plane. So let's just delete it and get it back and do extract cut by 0 0.25 so I was getting one nice rebuild as you can see and the screen is now in the place in the right place where it should be as I planned and now of course let's do a surface fill here for this edge so go to surface fill surface fix a boundary contact and that's it um, okay so on the top plane on the top plane let's do a sketch I'm gonna use bottom view and let's draw a cycle that goes you can use I think this midpoint of the button as it's on the yeah, it's in the middle of the model, make it horizontal, and the cycle should be 1.5, I think, yes, and it goes from the origin horizontally, 12, and that's it. So let's do a linear sketch pattern, entities are this cycle, and we are going only on uh, X axis. So we should have 6 of them and the spacing should be 2.5 and it is 2.5, select OK and exit sketch, front view, features extract cut, offset by 67.5 but not up, uh, I mean, we need down here and through all so it's fine and let's just edit this sketch very very quick let's make a polygon here it's again coincident with this point for example and it should be 6.5 long and it's uh, uh, radius 1 and of course it should be midpoint and the origin should be vertical so it's a charging charging place and we got it so select this face and do a sketch and immediately select convert and Select and do offsets by 0 0.25, not outside but inside. Exit the sketch and do extract. Let's move to front plane, I mean front view. It should be 10.75. It's one nice detail. I think we do did already half of the work. So let's go. Mm. 
Okay, we need sketch on this face. And let's select this shading. Offset by 0, 0.52 to right side. Okay, and move this point somewhere around here and make it 9.5. Okay, and do a linear sketch pattern, it should be 8, and spacing is 0, 0.77, 0.775, let's check if that's okay, and it's fine, so now as the sketch and do extra the bus but this one is going to be quite be different because it's going to be thin feature mid plane mid plane it means symmetric and it's uh, zero three by zero one long again details for the charger we can paint it right now for example to gold polished gold okay it's probably br brass or something like that but this color is better so what's next uh, holes for the headphones again top plane uh, viewing from the bottom and draw two cycles one two and they are both uh, horizontal with this center line that goes uh, from the midpoint of this arc and of course they are they are horizontal and diameter here should be 1.4 or am I wrong? Yeah, 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 okay, it's fine. But this is not a headphone, it's some other hole. So let's move it here. Again, 1.4. Let's draw another center line here. And another one from the origin the midpoint of this center line so make it to vertical and it should be so 12 and a half okay I think that's it and exit and let's just quick no it's fine okay so Extracted cut offset by 67.5. Am I wrong? No, I'm not. And do we'll through all. So these are some holes for the screws or something like that. I don't know what the hell this is. And do we'll I fill at one point? 0 0.125 for these two edges. Now, uh, important is to create sketch on this face and offset by 0 01, reverse to inside. And now, carefully do the same thing I do. It's extra red boss. <sighs> 11.5 but do not merge results you will see why so sketch on this face and let's again draw two cycles in mid in midpoint of this one and this one should be for construction so its diameter is Let's see how much, 0 0.94 and this one should be 0 0.24 So again, 
we need two lines and it's something like this it goes to mid to a top point of the cycle until here but make sure that these two points are horizontal which is which allows us to add the angle and it's gonna stay symmetrical so okay we got something here no delete the tangent relation and just drag it a little bit so the angle should be 28.45 so it's symmetrical and trim it exit the sketch extract cut by 0 0.4 and I think that's it, yes and while this cutting is selected select se uh, the circular pattern it's a number 3 and select this edge and it's done so now let's do a fill it by 0 0.1 for this face in this detail is done so the reason why we didn't merge this boss is that we can go to mirror body select this body and go to right plane and we got the right side finished and we are uh, heading back to the end we are almost done no I'm just kidding and now we got the headphone details on the top lane, bottom view, and draw bigger one and smaller cycle. Okay, it's a uh, 3.1 diameter and 1.6. They are horizontal and center line that goes from this point okay it's fine and it's of course horizontal so five between these two guys and uh, 19 between origin and first one Exit the sketch but this sketch should be done on this face I forgot again but never mind Strat cut and offset 67.5 uh, down, not up, and through all. Save and now let's do a chamfer for this edge. 0, no, it's 1.55 it's a helpful entry, I'm sorry and fillet should be 0, 2 for this edge and let's do one smaller 0 0.1 for this one not the face, the edge <laughs> 0 0.075 way better okay let's see how much time i took 36 minutes it's a lot let's speed up so now we can proceed to camera details on this face let's draw a few cycles okay these two are concentric and they are both horizontal okay from this one to this one should be 6.88 and here should be 5.1 the biggest is 6.6 .6. smaller is 5.25 this one is 1.5 and the last one is 4.35 and they are all on this edge up 
from from let's convert this to purge command. Okay, show this catch. And we can use smart dimension with this line seven point one and fourteen point forty eight and I was forty three <laughs> I was so precise and hide the sketch of course. Exit the sketch and now carefully do what I'm doing. So select the sketch extracted and go to select contours glitch selection and select on this region it should be zero five and the chamfer should be zero twenty five for this edge and let's again select this sketch and do extract cut and contour sketch selection and select these two it should be zero two okay and now we lost some details here okay select this face select sketch of course convert and offset by zero no draw a cycle that has the diameter 4 exit and do extracted boss but don't merge results and go up to this edge but it's not working so type in 0 5 ok we can also do a camera with glass so select this set okay Whee. let's see what's next for the camera it's not done I'm sure can not find a stupid sketch okay so sketch here cycle should be Concentric and diameter should be uh, free. As in the sketch, and cut it by zero to one in five with drafts sixty degrees draft. And We need another cutting, I think. Or we don't. Yeah, we do need. Convert and exit the sketch. Extract cut by 0 0.25. So the camera is done. Let's unhide surface fill. Okay. Now we have to do some details. Filleting. Okay, fillet first. Zero one for these two ends. Okay, and let's draw those details. So sketch on this face. And I'm gonna convert this edge, this one, this one in these two offset by 1.7 to the inside chain of course outside uh, direction and let's draw two lines here make sure they are horizontal and no let's draw just one it should go 0 7 075 <laughs> set by 1.7 to down to this direction and let's trim I'm gonna use power trim 
so trim it carefully and that's it we just got left fillet so fillets are so 25 0 25 and for these two corners and of course here and let's just draw one center line horizontally from the origin mirror this one okay, all these lines like this so keep your orientation in back view split line and the, the select all faces of the body don't touch well, you can do clear selection and select everything or then no I don't recommend it <laughs> let's just do it manually so we got it all the way that where we need it and that's very nice save and let's see what we got left to do so I'm gonna draw the apple no before we head uh, go to the next sketch we got almost everything done except the apple logo and the name iPhone and so so let's go to add ins here and make sure that auto trace is selected so I'm gonna unselect and select again ok and select sketch go to tools uh, sketch tools uh, and sketch picture I found this apple logo that has white background and black Apple so I'm gonna leave the link for this image on my Facebook page but I think that you can find it on the internet also go to open of course and I'm gonna make it let's first do, do some things like user defined and we are we want to hide the white color okay go to transparency one and we got it done so now deselect this so that we can change this height of the image I mean the size of the image make it smaller so I'm gonna make it a something like this is gonna be 17 by 17 and we can do minus 7.5 on x on x axis and on epsilon it should be like 37.5 for example it looks okay to me we got these white edges but I hope that I'm gonna fix it so go next to auto trace option and I'm gonna use a rectangular area select something like that and begin trace so we got it really terrible or oh, it's up to my PC <laughs> I'm gonna try tolerance move all the way down color tolerance all the way down image contrast let's try with that shit Fuck. image brightness let's do a smaller brightness color tolerance oh my god this is terrible I tried to trace this image uh, one hour ago before I started the tutorial it, it was 
fucking awesome and now it's so terrible or I am not able to view it well what the hell is this ok let's try and see what's uh, left <laughs> it's quite terrible I'm gonna try again so save go to sketch tools sketch tools sketch picture I think it's because we are making this image quite small hmm. who cares I'm gonna make it again 17 and 17 and it's a minus 7.5 37.5 looks like we have to draw it by manually the best we can do so let's use arc usually what I do I don't draw the details I just put some logo in a key shot and it worked the job well so fuck it's terrible <laughs> it's terrible but who cares as I said this model is only for showcasing like rendering not for production stuff so let's draw curve This is fucking disaster. Well, it's not that bad. <laughs> Let's try and edit these handles a bit. It wasn't so hard. Well, it looks like it, looks like it is. <laughs> mm. Only this handle is terrible. Okay, it's not. So just make it short shorter let's just move this one in I'm gonna make this handle horizontal this one also horizontal and this one and this one should be vertical this one is horizontal let's make it um, let's make this side bigger okay you see this is my first complicated curve in my life and I did, did it quite well really happy how it looks like so I'll make it horizontal again and move this point just a little bit ok this one should be ok make this one smaller oh fuck now I have to play with this so it works one handle is affecting all, all others as you can see this one should also be horizontal well it's, it's looking nice <laughs> again we have problems here wow very nice I really like it I'm gonna do extra or cut I don't know what to do let's do cut 
extract cut by 0 0.05 It looks awesome. And we got left some details like blah blah iPhone this iPhone that. So center line from this edge to this one make it horizontal. From the origin to center line it goes 45 and offset by 10 and again make it for construction select this one and go to text so uh, small i phone select and make on middle um, center alignment that's what I wanted to say use document font no font should be font should be Helvetica in points to 22 so find Helvetica A, B, C, D, F, G, A, J, Bly, Bly Helvetica narrow ok it looks decent click ok and go to this center line and I'm really not sure what does it says here because all images I saw in the internet are not showing this area very well it's probably say something about the iPhone what where it's productive who made it but I'm gonna I don't know let's type in model and rendered you can put your name by once you find the first zoomed and find first quality image of high quality image of the iPhone f looking from the back you can know what does it say so the font should be points 8 and again Helvetica narrow ok and make it bolded You have probably also seen the FCSA, FCC um, logos and something like that, but that would be too much for my PC. You can also do it by adding decals in the rendering. So I think this is quite enough for the tutorial. And of course, cutting. So I think that's it, we are almost done, we just need to do one thing and it's a uh, surface body. So select all body surface bodies that they are called like offset, not the fill, and go to insert features, delete body, they are all selected and click OK. Because we want to import this in Keyshot. And and we want as less detail as possible so let's try paint this model and I'm not go going to paint it like original I'm going to separate layers so when I import it in a key shot I can work on the model so uh, the main body is going to remain as some this color basic color of the model select these faces and I'm gonna make it black painted F5 yeah filter face ok and apple logo ok screen I'm gonna put screen like yellow metallic fold that's it and these details are gonna be green I just want to separate them plastic high gloss green this should be something like 
white <coughs> okay and these holes all are okay okay I'm not sure are uh, these black they are probably No, they are white, sorry. Undo and make it white. Fillet, you know, this is this one. Right. Okay, these cuttings are going to be black. Or they should be metallic. Let me think. No, let's put it green because the charger is green and in key shot it's gonna be gold so it's something like gold also for these letters and these faces are they are going to be red I also want to separate this this is important detail of the of the iPhone 6 of course it's not gonna be red in the key shot it's gonna be darker from the body the body has two combinations something like gold and silver finish maybe it has the third I'm not sure but when we import to key shot this body is gonna be silver for example and this red must be separated so that we can make uh, dark silver and okay now for these glasses we need some some neutral color wow I already s used uh, yellow no, this should be green. What the hell I did? This should be green. Okay. And the screen and these surfaces must be same color. Yeah, that's fine because we are replacing the decal on the background of the iPhone on this face so it can be any color so let's use car paint we use metallic gold because there there is gonna be glass this should be also black I think that's it let us do small checking Yeah, let's do a fillet. <laughs> Zero one for. Okay, we have to deselect this thing. And. Fuck. That's a great option in SolidWorks that you can select all of them by cl clicking only once. I think we are done. I can also show you rendering in the next. Okay, this uh, this face should be black. I can also show you how I did the rendering in a key shot. But I don't recommend you to follow what I'm doing here. Here should also be a fillet zero one. And one thing I'm not really sure is has the iPhone 6 does it has the fillets or chamfers on these buttons and so but as it has uh, that filleted shape like this one and it has no chamfers like iPhone 5 and 4 I think that now they are using only fillets so we are done Thanks for watching and see ya.
and one last thing I wanted to show you is how my model is looking like when it's in a key shot so as you can see almost real not so not so great it's pretty decent I think I hope you like it and if you want I can make a short tutorial how to apply the appearance for it but I don't think it's something too hard and also I'm not really pro with key shots and let me show you the other key shot file so here's my other key shot file let me try rotate the model free camera okay it looks fine to me here you can see the detail on the speaker that I was talking about come on zoom in ok you can see I added special uh, material and here you can almost see the lens of the camera come on zoom out I think that was everything for this edition wow this is one great image I think I'm gonna render it later so guys thanks for watching see you next time bye